Now let's take a look at the left side of the X1 Yoga, see what we get here. So this is a USB-C port used for charging and for Thunderbolt purposes. And then we have another USB-C Thunderbolt port as well as a connection for an ethernet adapter. We have a USB 3 port as well as a standard HDMI connection, which is a real plus to have. And then we have a headset connection. So this will handle both headphones and a built-in mic. Turning it over to the right side of the laptop, we do have the pen right here that you could just take out easily. And I do admit it's not as big as the Microsoft Surface Pro pen, but it will get you through. So if your life doesn't depend on writing, then this should be good enough. And as you see, we just slide it right in and you're not gonna lose it. Here we have the power on button along with another USB 3 port, some ports for venting here, as well as a Kensington lock slot. All right, so just take a look at this very sleek design, very MacBook Pro-ish. So let's open it up, take a look. Okay, and here we go. This is the inside of the laptop and we have the classic Lenovo keyboard that we've all grown to love. It just feels so good typing on these Lenovo keyboards. We do have a nice little trackpad here, not the size of the MacBook Pro that I'm used to, but it's definitely much better than that of the Surface Pro. And then you have your three trackpad buttons that you're probably used to if you've used Lenovo laptops in the past. To the right of the trackpad, we have a fingerprint reader and you can get into your laptop just using your fingerprint. This particular laptop features an Intel Core i5 V Pro 8th generation CPU. As for the screen, we have a nice 14 inch screen, which is bigger than 13 inch laptops we see out there. That's a definite plus. And on top here, we see a built-in array of microphones that's used for your communication needs. And we do have a built-in webcam with privacy. As you see the little red dot right here, this tells you that the webcam is currently blocked and no one will be able to see your webcam as there is a physical block to it. And there is a little slider right here that you can move and we just opened the webcam. So it's very small, easy to miss. So if you buy one of these laptops, make sure that if you're having webcam problems, you do slide a little slider so that you don't see the red dot over to the right and that will open up the webcam for you. Great feature to have nowadays that everyone is using Zoom and great feature to have if you forget to, that you have your webcam on and you're logged into Zoom. Okay, I really want you guys to get some benefit out of this unboxing, so I'm gonna open up the laptop for you in the back and i'm going to show you how easy it is to repair this laptop if something goes wrong so let's say the battery gets bloated and it's not working anymore like two years from now three years from now so there's just a few screws to loosen up i'm going to use my handy dandy star wars screwdriver to open it up okay once you loosen up the screws you should be able to take out the back cover without any issues Kind of little snap-ons that you have to pull out and there you go that's it took out the cover as easy as that try doing that with a surface pro okay so here's the inside okay again if there's any problem with the battery down the line you just open the laptop up disconnect this cable a couple of screws take out the battery and replace it no big deal if something goes wrong with your cooling fan again you can replace it yourself this laptop comes with the M.2 NVMe slots. So again, if something happens with my NVMe drive, I just take it out and replace it. No problem there. Say your speakers blow out, no problem. Replace those as well. So yeah, great benefit with this laptop, very serviceable. So yeah, this laptop gets like a nine or 10 for repairability. I mean, any IT professional out there is gonna love this laptop compared to the Surface Pro. Surface Pro is just a disaster. It's like nothing you can do really once it's out of warranty. With this laptop, you have options. You can keep it going for a very long time. So yeah, as you can see here, that's pretty much all there is to it. They do a very nice job of fitting all this in there, including the battery and making it very easy to get access to with just a few screws and then you pop up the back cover. Everything's nice and protected there. If it gets dusty down the line, you can take out the cover, spray it with some compressed air and you're good to go for a few more years. All right, I'm gonna put back the cover and then show you guys a few more things. Before. And I do suggest you guys subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a full review of this laptop. So if you guys are in the market for a laptop for school or work, this might be what you guys need. So make sure to turn on those notifications as well so you get notified as soon as the review video is up for this laptop. All right, so let's hit the power button and turn on this laptop. And let's take a look at that beautiful screen that we have here. Okay, so we're letting it boot up. So take a look at this beautiful 14 inch screen. Very thin, looks good, has like a glossy finish to it. 
And again, the screen is touch screen, so you can browse through your websites using just touch. Again, this is a two in one laptop, so you can fold it. So you can fold the laptop just like this, switch to tablet mode and just use your fingers or you could take out the pen and use the pen with your laptop. Two very cool features to have, especially if you're a student or if you're a teacher of some kind, this laptop will definitely work well for you. So if you guys are interested in picking up one of these ThinkPad X1 Yogas, take a look down in the description. I will have a link where you can buy it at a good price.